so in making this crops blouse you just have to fold this into four sorry into two first of all then we're going to go ahead and fold this into four so i'm going to be marking out the length of my blouse which is 25 inches i'm going to be marking that all around then i'm going to go ahead and then roll the line and connect the dots together so the next thing is to mark out the neck width which is three inches three inches by two inch so i'm going to go ahead and connect that and also cut it out so up next is the shoulder measurement so once i get my shoulder measurement which is 16 i'm going to divide that by four and it's going to give me um 4.5 inches so i can even go with four inch so yeah i'm going to mark that out and then i'm going to come down by one inch then on that one inch i'm going to connect the dots to the neckline then i'm going to cut that out the next thing is to mark eight inches 8.5 inches down this is going to serve as my armhole depth so i'm going to go ahead and connect that line together then i'm going to just mark that out okay just to form the armhole so the next thing is to mark two inches out like the work that what i'm doing then i'm going to find the midpoint towards the armhole depth and then i'm going to mark that out so the point of the two inches is just to connect this line and just this dot i just made now to that two inch dot thereby forming the curve okay since i don't have a curve ruler to help me create my armhole depth so that's what i'm going to be using sorry the armhole curve so that's what i'm going to be using the next thing is to add two inches to the down part of the fabric which is going to serve as the fold okay that is what, is what i'm going to be using to fold the hemline so before cutting it out you should be sure that you have measured and place your bust points and your waist um, measurement here too so i did this earlier on before even doing this okay most especially when you are when you are, when you fold the fabric into four pieces you have to be sure that whatever it is that you are folding is going to be able to carry your bust points and your waist points so the next thing now is to find the is to cut out the neckline for the front so i'm going to just take one of these out and then fold one of them and then mark it out so for me the neck depth i went with was 10 inches i think that should be actually appropriate you know since this is an official outfit so you don't want it to be too deep to the point that your boss is your cleavage is, is showing so i mean everything it depends though but it's not supposed to be like that so i'm just going to go ahead and then cut that out and that is it for the front and back piece so the next thing is for me to cut out the sleeves okay after this so you have to be very careful while trying to cut out the sleeves i mean if you're going to be doing it the way i did so i'm folding this into four all right so after folding this into four the part I'm supposed to have used to cut out for the shoulder points, okay? The part touching the shoulder is supposed to be this part that is closer to me, all right? So in other words, it means the way I'm placing this right now is wrong. So if you're supposed to, if you're cutting it this way, I mean, it's just the, lazy, the laziest way of cutting out a sleeve if you don't want to go about cutting out on a pattern and all of that stuff. So it's just to place this. In an angle that you know is going to be okay not a straight angle since our shoulder is not um is not straight okay so you have to place it in a way that is going to look okay so after that i'm going to pick out one of them okay then i'm going to place it this way and then try to trace it out and then cut it again because the the other one the opposite hand was split at the center i mean at this shoulder junction so it was it was split so i wanted it to be full round sleeve that's why i had to go ahead and cut it out again so at this point i'm just marking out the length that i really need for the sleeves so since this crops um sleeve is always double fold at the at the hem part so that's why i had to leave that so i can be able to double fold on that so this is actually the cape for the blouse for the neckline 
I'm going to go ahead and iron down um, an interfacing just to make it firm, you know, just to add a little bit of uh, weight to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. Then I'm going to be placing a little piece of the interfacing also at this point of the neck just to give that place also a little firmness okay i'm going to be doubling that but you're going to see why i did this later on in the video because i'm going to still show you so in explaining this now might not really make sense so once you see it you'll be able to understand all right so this is it i'm going to be placing this on top of this okay i'm going to be placing the color on top of this i'm going to be sewing it down to that point that we um ironed down the interfacing so this is what it looks like after i finish ironing it down okay so i'm supposed to turn this right over just so that you guys can see how the main thing is gonna look like so on the back this is what it looks like at the back then i'm going to go ahead and snip in at this point at this junction like this so that it can give it that room for it to be able to turn over so while doing this you have to be careful just so you're not cut into your fabric so guys this is what it looks like i'm going to go ahead and just iron it down so that that place can can stay properly so guys i noticed um something now that i'm trying to turn this over it's not really respond like it's not really giving what i wanted it to give so why this is happening like this is because that spot is it was quite very small for it okay that opening was small for it to turn over so what i'm going to do is is this this was supposed to have remained this way once it turns over okay it remains the exact same way so i'm going to loosen this up and then open it up a bit and then sew it down again then i'll show you guys all right so this is what it looks like after i finish opening it up giving it a little bit of room and space so i'm going to go ahead and snip in like this so this is it it's just to iron in the same way i did it um i did the first one so that's what i just did so right now once i turn this over it's going to really um fit in and then give it the the look that we are looking for so the essence of that stuff that we ironed in was to give this spot the firmness okay because if it were to be just a normal fabric I don't, I don't think it would stay like this it would just give that wobbling effect so that's not what we're looking for we want it to stay properly and then just adjust well so i'm going to go ahead and iron this so this is what it looks like after you are finished ironing ironing it sorry <laughs> I have, after I have finished ironing this, this is what it's going to look like. The next thing is to go ahead and just sew this together. Just sew it in place. And then sew it directly at the spot that you ironed. Just so that you can have the proper shape in front. This is going to help keep the neckline, the front neckline in place. So the next thing is for you to just go ahead and then cut out the excess, this excess fabric. So moving on to the back part, I literally cut out um, a fabric that looks like this. Then I ironed down a single interfacing on it just to give it a firmness. Okay, it's just so that it can correspond with the with the front neckline. All right. So this is what I'm going to be doing. What I'm going to do right now is to sew down, just sew around it like this. Then I'm going to end up cutting out the excess at the center. Then I'll turn it over. So this is what it looks like you're going to give it this snip so that when you turn it over you can look as neat as what you're seeing then i'm gonna go ahead and overlock this point and then sew all round like this so this is what it looks like after i finish doing that the next thing is just for me to go ahead and then join the shoulders together but you have to note one thing at this point now you're going to be having one inch excess at the front um shoulder the front shoulder panel so this is because of the of the cape that we attached in front so it's not it doesn't call for any alarm just for you to go ahead and then cut out the excess and you're going to be good so this is what it looks like after joining the shoulders together everything looks beautiful as of now 
so you're going to just go ahead and then attach the sleeves to it after attaching your sleeves and pockets you are going to close the sides so after closing um the sides be sure not to close to the end just leave out a little bit of space here so that you can be able to put an opening at that spot so this is it i finished attaching the sleeves to it so the next thing is for me to go ahead and then attach the pocket sew down the pocket on it before closing the sides so this is the pocket well ironed and smooth so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be attaching the pockets now the two pockets on the two sides then also i'm going to be attaching a filling pocket at the chest area for the virus or for the pen <laughs> So this is what it looks like after I finished doing that. I finished attaching all the pockets at the spots that I wanted them. So the next thing is I'm going to go ahead and close my side seams, close around um, around this spot, leaving out these spots for the opening and then just double folding the hem. So this is how it turned out. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Up next is going to be a video on how to make this trouser. So if you're interested in that, please don't forget to subscribe and then turn on your post notification bell just so you will not miss out on this. Thank you guys. Bye.